This unassuming little character is the potential death of competitive Marvel vs. Capcom 3. The Hulk in this character who isn't even considered one of the best characters in the game holds so much power. That's where this man comes in. Apology Man would be the player that could unlock the potential of Firebrand. He started in Blaze Blue, but he transitioned to Marvel after entering a tournament and doing extremely well. He started with a team of Frank West, Doctor Doom, and Super Scroll. But after getting fourth at SoCal Regionals 2013, he realized he was reaching the limit of his team. Being from NorCal, he got to see firsthand the dangers of Anchor Virgil. Shady K, another NorCal player, had invented and popularized Anchor Virgil in the region, forcing Apology Man to find an answer to it. He took some time off from major tournaments to lab his new secret game-breaking team, Firebrand Doom Scroll. So how does this character potentially destroy the competitive scene? With an unblockable move, of course. Firebrand's Demon Missile move has a unique property of becoming unblockable if fully charged. On its own, it's extremely weak. It takes a long time to charge up, and the opponents will just walk up and hit you or move out of the way. Apology Man found a way around this though. He lets in Scroll's Tenderizer Assist and Doom's Sphere Flame Super. He can land the unblockable on any incoming character. To fully understand the strength of this, we have to take a step back and look at the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 meta. Normally teams revolve around landing a hit and killing their opponent's character in one combo, named the Touch of Death combo. They will then set up a mix-up as the opponent's next character comes in, attempting to make them miss their block and proceed to do another Touch of Death combo if they have the resources. Where Apology Man takes it a step further though is by making it so the first touch will guarantee the win completely. Nicknamed the 300% combo as you kill all three characters with it. It is done by landing a hit, snapping in the opponent's next character, forcing them to block the scroll tenderizer assist as you charge up the unblockable, and then comboing off the unblockable hit. When that character dies, you can then hit the next character with an unblockable, rinsing and repeating until you win. But Papa Lub, can't they just air dash away before they get hit? Yes they can, but this is where the Apology Man is brilliant. By going for a TAC or hard tag combo and switching in Doom, you can kill an opponent's character and induce Fear Flame from Dr. Doom into Luminous Body with Firebrand. Beams will rain down from the sky, stopping opponents from dashing away and forcing them into the scroll tenderizer. And guess who's waiting there? Our good friend, Firebrand. If they can't dash away, life becomes much easier, as you can then just tenderize her and guarantee the unblockable. This is especially strong against Virgil, as there is no way for him to escape. Of course, if it was easy, everyone would be playing this team. Where this team struggles is against teams that can be difficult to land the first hit on. Characters like Morgan and Magneto can be extremely difficult for Firebrand. I'm very excited to announce this video is sponsored by Factor. They are helping support the channel and make my ideas a reality. Factor makes it so you get fresh, never frozen meals right to your doorstep. As someone that is incredibly busy and doesn't like to spend a lot of time cooking, these meals are great. I can grab one of these meals out of the fridge and in two minutes I have some delicious food at my fingertips. Saving this time is what allows me to make these videos with my hectic schedule. My personal favorite are the smoothies. They taste delicious and are super easy to grab before work. The mango smoothie is my absolute favorite, but all the flavors I've tried are amazing. With Factor, I also save a ton of money on takeout. With this great pricing and flexible plans, I'm able to cut back on my spending. I'm able to get quick quality food at an affordable price. One of my favorite parts of Factor is there's so many options to keep my fridge stocked up. I get something new every day. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use Papa Lobster 50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, that's head on over to factor75.com or click the link below and use code Papa Lobster 50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Apology Man will learn the strength of Magneto at Landhammer 2013 in San Francisco, California. Facing CJ Showstopper, a Magneto Doom Virgil player, Apology Man struggled to get his game plan started. One of the major factors was CJ being able to run away and zone Firebrand, forcing Apology Man to chase him. This couple was switching in Virgil safely using a delayed hyper combo, guaranteed Apology Man wouldn't get the free unblockable if he did land a hit. CJ would go on to win that match 3-1 ending Apology Man's run at fourth place. You know how to decide, was this team worth pursuing? It was strong, but it struggled against the top tiers. There was one specific technique that was still unexplored with Firebrand, the wall clean fireball. This technique is incredibly difficult and requires extremely fast hands. While in the air, you have to press back twice to cling to the wall. And then if you press light punch, it will shoot a fireball. If done fast enough, the fireballs will come out very low to the ground and Firebrand will recover quickly. Apology Man took the next six months off major tournaments and grinded this technique to an extreme. This training would pay off in dividends. As SoCal Regionals 2014 in Southern California, Apology Man would enact his revenge. He started off with defeating Filipino Champ 3-1 with his new tools. He then won a nail-biter against Killer Kai, an amazing zero player, solidifying his place in Grand Finals. F-Champ had battled his way through losers to now face him again. In decisive fashion, F-Champ won 3-0 in the first set, resetting the bracket. It seemed like F-Champ had the answers now and was poised to win the tournament. But Apology Man battled back with a solid 3-1 victory, giving him his first major tournament win.
With a win under his belt after only his fourth major, Apology Man was set to have an amazing year. He would not have to battle through the season to the EVO Championship to see if Firebrand had what it takes to perform at the highest level. I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed, as it truly helps me make bigger and better content. And thank you to everyone that supports my channel. It truly means a lot. Now we come back to 2014. First, he traveled to an extremely stacked NorCal Regionals. With so many top players, it was going to be a brutal tournament to attend. In top 8, he had a close match with K-Brad, but ended up coming out ahead 3-2. Next, he had to face Marvel legend Justin Wong. Justin's Wolverine proved to be too strong though, sending Apology Man home at 5th place. He then traveled to Washington for Northwest Major 6, again making top 8. In winner's side, in an incredibly close set, he lost to Kame Lou River, an incredibly strong Hulk player from Chile and an eventual EVO champion. In loser's side, he lost to Nemo, a very versatile and well-rounded fighting game player from Japan. This solidified a 4th place victory. Both these tournaments were stacked with top players, and getting top 8 twice was already feat in itself. It all led to this the EVO Championships in Las Vegas. But the Bracky Gods were not smiling upon Apology Man today. In top 16 winner side, he had faced off against Filipino Champ. They have battled many times before, with both players taking sets off of each other. But this time, F Champ prevailed with a nail-biting 3-2 victory. To make matters worse, he knew how to play Coach Steve, playing a team that any touch could be a touch of death. While it was a very close match, Apology Man was eliminated from EVO. A 16th place was significantly lower than expected. Maybe the team didn't have what it took to break the meta. Was the game plan too hard to execute at a high level? One major weakness was Apology Man's right side wall clean fireballs. Due to how difficult of a technique it was, he was naturally better on the left side. It was so integral to the game plan and so strong, players started to utilize coin flips to decide what side they would play on. If he could master the technique that was so powerful it forced a new rule to be created, he would find immense success. It was time for Apology Man to head into the hyperbolic time chamber and level up. One last time. Nine months later, he emerged. He entered NorCal Regionals 2015. He determined to show what he had learned, but again, he ran into his rival F Champ. Try as he might, F Champ sent him home in 8th with a decisive 3 0. It was looking like Apology Man was hitting his ceiling. Just three months later, we entered the EVO Championship 2015 in Las Vegas. Apology Man has reached top 16 winner side. He first has to play Flux, an incredibly strong zero player, part of team control. In a close set, Apology Man is able to send Flux to losers 3 2. Up next is RF, a Japanese Morgan player. This is an incredibly hard matchup for Firebrand. With an intensely grueling set, Apology Man is able to find the hits he needs and beats RF. E-Man takes it over RF to advance to top eight in winners. <laughs> he jumped on the chair. You will also see him tomorrow. He's finally made it to top eight at EVO. His toughest test is now here. Ray Ray is one of the best Magnetos in the game. With his magnificent movement and ability to pressure his opponent, Firebrand is going to have an extremely difficult time. They scrap against each other and end up in a game 5 situation. They both decide to play safely, knowing any hit could be one that sends them down to loser's bracket. Apology Man does a great job using wall clean fireballs, chipping Magneto down to a point where he's able to land a hit and secure a kill. With no meter, he has to go for a basic mix-up. He dives in and makes the incoming Doom block. He then quickly recovers and grabs Doom. With the throw damage scaling, he looks for a reset. He hits Doom in the air with a light, causing him to pop out of the combo and then hits him again. Oh, we got a reset! Allowing him a full combo and to switch in Doom. It's all up to Ray Ray Sentinel. Because Apology Man has no meter, Sentinel can get out of the unblockable by double jumping. He hard drives to make sure Apology Man can't do any other mix up and then X Factors, falling with a giant boot. This catches Apology Man off guard and Firebrand is now gone. Apology Man does a good job blocking, but as he attempts to go to the skies, Ray Ray reads it and hits him. In X Factor 3, this combo easily kills and it's all at the Super Scroll now. Super Skulls coming in the match with three meters. Apology Man decides to go crazy with Meteor Smashes, looking for any hit. Okay. Almost grabs Sentinel out of the sky, but it's just a hair too far away. They both continue to look for any straight hit as they fake each other out until finally Apology Man lands a command grab. Ray Ray is still in this game. He's trying to waste that expect. Oh my god, but Apology Man with a nice snatch. He finishes the combo and guarantees himself a podium spot at Evo. Super scroll using that X Factor. He now faces the legendary Chilean Kim Blue River. It's an incredibly close set, with Apology Man using his walkling fireballs and unblockable setups to find himself on the verge of taking it to a game five. But he's level three to scroll to punish KBR Sentinel. He missed times it, doing the super too late and allowing Kim Blue River to punish and kill him, sending him to losers. And it kills! He moves on! Apology Man looking disappointed, but he can still go to losers bracket. We find ourselves back to where it all started. Ray Ray and Apology Man facing off to go to Grand Finals. We join the match at 1-1. Apology Man is down to just a scroll in X-Factor 3 against Ray Ray's whole team. He 
starts his offense with a scroll torch super into X Factor. He dashes up and does an instant overhead, catching Magneto. He uses his quick reactions to super to do as much damage as possible. He then waits for Ray to try and escape and jumps up, grabbing him and killing Magneto. He attempts a sneaky mix up where he puts pressure on Doom and does an air grab, looking for Doom trying to run away. But Ray smartly lands and punishes with super. The scroll takes to the skies and tries to land on Doom. Ray switches in Sentinel, but Apology Man reacts with a super to stay above the drones. The scroll comes down with even more meteor smashes causing Raven to use X-Factor, but misses the punish. Apology Man capitalizes and kills Sentinel. With no X-Factor, Scroll needs a hit. He puts pressure on Doom, and then runs back, trying to reduce the X-Factor time. Ray goes in with Doom and catches Scroll. Oh, the opener! Ooh. And he's gonna optimize that. Best believe he's gonna optimize that as much as possible. But he lives with a pixel. Apology Man throws out a level three, catching Doom in the air. Doom. He waits for Doom to get up and then throws him. Doesn't! Apology Man gets the throw! Oh, oh no, that's. Oh, he's gonna have the monster. He's gonna chip him out. He's gonna chip him out. He's gonna chip him out. Chip and Chip makes the crowd go wild. Landing the combo and chipping him out. Ray Ray's not going down without a fight, though. And answers back with a quick game. That was unnecessary, but you know what? I like that. Try to get in his head a little right? bit. It's now down to this. The loser going home. Match starts with Apology Man going into Luminous Body to speed himself up. He then does his wall clean fireballs, catching Magneto attempting to come in. Ray answers back by faking that he's going to run away and finding a gap, hitting Firebrand. Oh! The switcheroo. It looked like he was going to try to get out of the corner, but no. Came back to the same Got time. rid of the problem. He lands a hit on Doom. Learning from the previous games, snaps in Scroll. With an amazing gravitation pull, he's able to catch Scroll. Yes, correctly. Very nice! Rolling Scroll down to the ground, ruining Apology Man's escape. Using X Factor, he eliminates him, and Dr. Doom comes in. As Apology Man attempts to escape, Ray catches him. X Factor. Nice! Apology Man gets hit by drones, and Ray does get the level three. Let us see it. Please! Ending Apology Man's run at third place. While he didn't win Evo, he took characters that were considered low tier at the time and brought out their potential as a team. Third at Evo is incredibly difficult. He was extremely close to winning it all. No other Firebrand player has reached the same heights as Apology Man, and he will go down as one of the greatest Marvel vs. Capcom 3 players in history. As Marvel's popularity dwindled, Apology Man found himself playing other games like Dragon Ball Fighter Z and going back to his roots with Guilty Gear Strive. But we have to wonder, with enough time, could he have truly broken the game and guaranteed a win off of any touch? Make sure to check out Apology Man's channel in the links below. He's an absolutely amazing content creator, and he's still making low tier characters look broken with his Faust play and Strive. If you enjoyed this story, check out how the new era of Marvel is being played with this video here. Until next time.